You know all about Doors, the hit Roblox game that took over Roblox last year. But you don't know about this little entity named Windows. <laughs> It's probably one of the least known little entities in this entire game. This little fella is full of lies, full of mystery, and full of misinformation that's plagued the community. So I'm going to clear all that out for you and tell you every single fact about this little wacky guy. So sit back, relax, and let's get into some facts, alright? So to start it all off, fact number one. Most new players will quickly figure out about Rush, they will know about Seek, and the more they play they'll find Eyes, Halt, or even if they're lucky enough, even Glitch. But 98% of players will not see this entity. This entity right here is one of or is the rarest entity in the entire game. You could theoretically play 50 hours and not find him. It's official. This little fella is the rarest entity in the entire game. You can go ahead, argue in the comments, say, oh no, Shadow is. You're wrong. This little guy is. Next off, we have fact number two. It doesn't have an official name. Kind of just like the guiding light, the curious light, glitch. These entities don't have names given to them officially. So the community has to step in and give them their names. And as you guys know, the community is super creative when coming up with these names so they call it window because it shows up in a window wow guys a plus for creativity good job guys good job moving off to fact number three people way smarter than me always say that a picture is worth a thousand words so i'm not gonna stand here and describe to you what windows looks like when i can literally show you he has six teeth he got two eyes he's a smiling face there he is there's nothing much else to say about our little friend window here now with fact number four something a little bit more interesting in the game doors there are two types of entities on one hand we have the 3D rendered entities, which include Figure, Screech, and even Seek. And on the other hand, we have the decal entities, which include Ambush, Rush, Eyes, even Halt, and the rest of those 2D guys. And so it kind of makes sense that Windows is a 2D decal, but that actually isn't true. Quite surprisingly, Windows is actually a 3D model, not a 2D one a three-dimensional one. I don't know why they made him 3D. All I know is that he is. Personally, I think it would have been better for performance if Windows was a 2D model because you only get to see one side of him. I don't know why the devs chose to make him 3D. But to be fair, Window barely shows up in the entire game, so the performance is basically non-existent. And now coming in hot is fact number five. So earlier when I said Windows doesn't have an official name, it kind of does, but at the same time, it doesn't. Red Ables and Wowzer Ghostly have gone on the record to state this about Windows. Windows' in-game file name is called Sally. So the actual 3D model within the Roblox Studio is called Sally. Why do they name it Sally? Who knows? Only the developers knows. Maybe it's a friend of theirs, maybe it's a funny little inside joke. None of us will actually know until they release some more information about him. But what do you think? Do you think Sally's a friend? Do you think it's some Easter egg? Or do you think it's just some sort of placeholder? Holder. 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 That's a weird word, I'm sorry. And now going back into fact number six. Easter eggs. Achievements. Very important to me. I love achievement hunting. I'm sure many of you also love achievement hunting. It's probably one of my favorite things to do in any Roblox games. And they're especially important to the Doors Roblox community because with the A1000 badge, Super Hard Mode badge, even the Hotel Hell badge, achievements and badges play a massive part within the community. And even the devs think they're very important. They even allow you to show off what badges you have within the main menu of the game. So the achievement hunting culture is definitely ingrained within doors. Weirdly enough, or even sadly enough, they didn't think Windows was important enough to make them an achievement. And there could be a few reasons why Windows doesn't have an achievement. Maybe the devs don't like them. Maybe Windows was never actually meant to stay in the game. Or they might be waiting to give Windows something very important later down the road. Maybe an even floor two. Actually, never mind to anything I just said, because apparently Ghostly Wowser confirmed in a tweet that uh let me see uh windows will never be related to any in-game achievements because it's only an easter egg womp womp but don't let that distract you from fact number seven doors has had a lot of teasers a lot of leaks and a lot of fan theories and sadly the developers do talk about a lot of things that they want to add to the game but they never see the light of day floor two where are ya so please take what I'm about to tell you with a grain of salt. But apparently one of the developers, Wowzers, did mention that yes, Windows is an easter egg, but that doesn't stop that it might be included later down the road. Maybe when we see Floor 2, maybe a new update, 
We don't know. It just maybe teased that maybe Windows will be a part of the whole Doors family and not just a simple old Easter egg. But you really gotta listen to fact number eight. Let's be honest, Doors made a lot of money. Premium payouts, rebuy purchases, don't even get me started about the stuffies they sold. They were pretty awesome, I wish I bought one. But there's also one thing that made them a lot of money, the UGCs. You either hate them or you love them. Personally, I bought every single one I don't really wear them, other than like the Timothy one, which I find very cute. Most of the other ones are nice, but they just don't fit my aesthetic, which is fine. They did a good job. It's just not for me, right? But their UGCs were extremely popular and a lot of people bought them. Hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people bought them. But the head developer for Doors, Red Ables, did imply that there might be, maybe, a pre-made UGC for Windows. And apparently this window-themed UGC was like a backpack. To be fair, we can only speculate what it could theorize look like. I'm guessing it would just be like a normal backpack with like the Windows face on it. And knowing my purchase history with all the UGCs, I would probably buy this one as well because I'm just a little bit of a simp, I guess. And now let's go off to fact number nine. A lot of you guys probably know a lot about the back rooms. The Doors community and the back room community share a lot in common and probably the same demographic of people. And with the back room community being so large and very heavy on user generated content, there's obviously going to be some correlations with doors and back rooms when it comes to their entities. And there's nothing wrong with that. Reusing good ideas and re-implementing them in a different way is completely good and I encourage it. Don't reinvent the real, just make it better, right? But there was a lot of speculation that Windows was an entity from the back rooms. Within the doors community, it was heavily theorized that Windows was a reference to the back room Smiler entity. And the devs did state that it was merely just a coincidence. Me, personally, I highly doubt it was a coincidence. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Red Ables or Wowzers or whoever designs the entity saw that and said, yo, that'd be pretty cool to put in our game. I see nothing wrong with that, but maybe they're just too scared or maybe like some legal issues that I'm just unaware about to admit it, but it doesn't really matter, right? Windows, I think they're pretty cool. I would never want them to leave the game. Next, we have fact number 10 to lighten the mood. Indoors, there's a lot of entities that act quite different from one another. Some are super dangerous and will one-shot you like Ambo and Rush. And on the other side of the aisle, we have Jack and Shadow, who do zero damage to the player and are theoretically kind of harmless. And Windows is one of the harmless ones. Windows barely interacts with the player. It won't bite at you, won't jump scare you. Well, it, it might jump scare you. It scared me a little bit. If I saw something out the window staring at me, it would, it would scare me a lot. <laughs> But beside that point, Windows is completely harmless. Now let's go to fact number 11. Doors has a lobby, and it's honestly quite iconic. It gives all the new players like the perfect vibe and what they're going to be expecting to this game. A nice welcoming hotel, but at the same time, something's off, something's weird, something's just not right. If you look outside the windows, it's just a complete dark pit of nothing. If you look in the closet, you're going to find a FNAF reference. And if you get too curious and look down the hall, you're going to notice some weird looking eyes. So things are definitely not what they seem at first glance. There's also one more thing that 98% of Roblox players are going to miss when they're in the lobby. Windows is stalking you within the game. Within the first few seconds of you joining the game for the very first time, Windows is going to be watching you, staring, analyzing, stalking, figuring out your weaknesses. You're not safe. When you spawn, Turn to your left and go to the first window you see. You're gonna find Windows, or as some people call them, Sally. Why are they here? Who are they? What are they? Only time can tell. Next up, we have fact number 12. If you play Doors, you have probably played Tower Heroes. But for those who don't know, Tower Heroes is like an RTS tower defense game, and they did a massive collab with Doors. And to keep it short and simple, they basically turned Doors into a tower defense game. Me personally, I don't like tower defense games, so I barely touched it. I did dabble in it. It was all right. There was one cool thing about the entire game. Windows was actually one of the enemies that could attack you, and they would deal around 70 to 200 damage. That's quite a lot. But who am I kidding? I'm never going to play that game because I just don't like tower defense games. I'm sorry. And now for the more skeptical people, we have fact number 13. Unlike figure and seek, you have to spawn in certain types of rooms. Windows does not play by those rules. Windows can actually spawn in literally every single type of room. And yes, I genuinely mean they can spawn in every single room. If that room has a window, windows can spawn in there. 
but Windows does have a 1 in 400 chance of spawning. But the funniest thing about this whole situation is that most people won't even notice that Windows has spawned. They don't make a sound when they spawn, they don't make like a scary little boo, they literally just appear in the window. Unlike Shadow that does like a <laughs> sound, Windows just, it's there, stalking you, watching you. It's honestly the apex predator. I would definitely watch out. Listen, if you like this video, I can guarantee that you're gonna love this video about height. It's another door entity, so if you want to learn more about this very unknown entity, click right here and uh, let me know what you think, alright? See ya!